Hello Divine Souls, I hope everyone is having an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. So I'm going to pull one card for the overall energy. And then I'm going to go deeper with some messages from your Divine Masculine. You have Orphaned. So this card makes me think of the Five of Pentacles. Someone feeling left out in the cold. They feel like you don't want to have anything else to do with them. And they also have abandonment issues. Let's take a look to see what the exact meaning is in the book. So it says a sense of loss. An identity crisis. Recognizing that you don't fit in. The need to belong. And uncertainty about your place. So they're feeling isolated. I'm strongly picking up that they're in the hermit mode. Let's read the relationship message. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support, but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth. Wow. It also says, you are discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs, so you feel left out. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. So I'm looking at this card in a couple of ways. Your Divine Masculine is feeling like an outcast. He's also let go of a lot of toxic people out of his life. There's a number five on this card. This is about loss. He feels like he has lost you for good. Fives are also about change. He's making changes in his life. But like I was saying, I'm seeing this card in a couple of ways. He feels like you have moved on and he doesn't feel worthy of your love. The other scenario that I was getting is that this orphan is also you. You have ascended, you have grown, you have evolved, and you're in a different stage of your life as well. And you're not tolerating the bullshit no more. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired of the roller coaster ride. You're tired of the back and forth. You're tired of the inconsistency. You're tired of the lies. You're tired of the games. And you have leveled up. You're out of your divine masculine's league right now. And he knows that he has to catch up to your energy if you guys are ever going to reconcile. Because you also felt like an outcast when you were in this relationship. Because he didn't put in the work. So this card is letting me know you're on two different paths. But this is a very significant card because the number five is also the Hierophant. The Hierophant deals with structure and traditions. And your Divine Masculine didn't want to adhere to rules and regulations. He went against the grain. But now he's looking at things in a new perspective. He's doing a lot of reflecting. The Hierophant represents wisdom and knowledge. Your Divine Masculine is trying to find his sole purpose. He's also getting advice from someone. You guys have not spoken to each other in a long time. And he's thinking about reaching out. He also has commitment on his mind because he's tired of being alone. So let's get some messages from your Divine Masculine to go deeper. Let's see what he's wanting you to know right now. My childhood was difficult. And it still affects me. I was let down by the people I loved and trusted the most. And that's what I was saying. He has abandonment issues. He had a very difficult childhood. And the people that he trusted the most betrayed him. That's why he has a hard time opening up. With this orphan card, this is someone who's often closed off. He didn't let you in. And it's because he feared being hurt. So his childhood is still affecting him. You are my best friend and I hurt you. I didn't know what I was doing. Can you ever forgive me? And this is what he's thinking about. How much he has hurt you. And he's also looking at you as his best friend. He's lost his best friend. And he's also wondering, will you ever forgive him? Please give me a second chance. I still love you and want to start over. 
I want to share my life with you. I told you guys, your divine masculine wants to reach out. He has commitment on his mind. He wants a second chance with you. And he wants to know, can you start over? It says, I want to share my life with you. Your divine masculine is in deep thought about you. He's looking at you as the prize. I'm sorry for putting you in a third party situation. I'm miserable, but I don't have the courage to leave. Okay, wow. So for some of you, your divine masculine is still in a third party situation and he's settling. With that orphan card, he has a lot of insecurities. He doesn't feel worthy. He doesn't feel good enough. So he's settling. And right when I said that on the bottom of this deck, it says, I'm settling for the life I thought I wanted, but it's empty without you. I still fantasize about you. Wow. So I just said that he was settling and this was on the bottom of the deck. So he walked away from you to go be with a third party, but it's not what he thought it was going to be. I'm settling for the life I thought I wanted, but he's feeling empty. That's why the orphan card came out and he's still fantasizing about you. So I'm getting this reading as 50-50 for 50% 50 of you to my masculine is still in a third party. And for the other 50, he's out of that situation and he's by himself because I'm picking up hermit mode. So for those of you, if you know that you're my masculine is in a third party situation, he is miserable. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt this love so deep before. Do you feel the same way? He's making his way out of this third party situation. You challenge me in ways that make me grow. Even though it's difficult, I know it's right. Remember what I said about the Harfont? The Harfont is about traditions and standards. Your divine masculine didn't have any. You challenge your divine masculine to grow. And that's why you bumped heads. But as you can see on the bottom here, it says, even though I know it was difficult, I know it was right. Whatever you was telling him, he's realizing you were right. So like I said in the open, he's reflecting a lot on his life and he's going to be making changes. Fives are about change. For some of you, the reason why he has not reached out is because he's still in a third party situation. But he's making his way out. I'm afraid to open up to anyone. I've been hurt too much in the past. I don't know how to trust again. The people that he trusted the most betrayed him. That's why he wasn't able to open up to you. You are an angel in my life and I want to be one in yours. No one gets me like you do. Yeah, you guys are best friends. This is your twin flame. My world is falling apart right now and I don't know how to fix it. It's not right for me to dump that on you. And that's what I was saying. The reason why your divine masculine has not reached out is because he's working on things behind the scenes. He's also very prideful and he doesn't want you to know that his life is falling apart. Let's get one more message out of this deck. I want to show you who I really am. I'm ready to bring down my walls and share my true feelings. And whenever you do hear back from your divine masculine, he's going to be opening up. He's going to let his walls down. I'm ready to bring down my walls. Your divine masculine wants a second chance. And look at this on the bottom of the deck. It says, I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's on his way back, divine feminines. Let's get some love messages to see what he's wanting you to know. Just like I said, you guys are seeing the 1111s. You're also seeing each other's names. Yeah, he's seeing signs that remind him of you. I had a crush on you from the very start. And that's why he was running away. Because he's been hurt in the past. And his feelings for you were so intense. I wish I could feel your body close to mine. I 
I will come back to you when the time is right. He's tying up some loose ends. I've been dreaming about having a future with you. The Hierophant. You are my total world. Your divine masculine is in love with you, collective. Only you can see through me. Your divine masculine knows that you have a past life connection. I can feel your presence even though we are apart. You are both telepathically communicating with each other. And both of you are sending each other signs. On the bottom of the deck, it says, oh my gosh, look at this. It says, connect to me telepathically through meditation. Wow. And the card that I was getting ready to read says, I've realized so much since we have parted ways. I told you he's been doing a lot of reflecting about you and this connection. And that third party situation that he's in, it's about to be a wrap. All right, you guys, these are your messages for this reading. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.